Okay, boys and girls, so Mrs. Moore is loving this warmer weather, really hoping it sticks around. Um, spring is almost on its way, and that makes me think of cherry blossoms. And that's our next lesson is on Ming vases and cherry blossoms. Um, your job is going to be to design your own Ming vase. It's going to show symmetry because you're going to do it with one piece of paper folded in half, cut one, draw and cut one side of your vase. Um, and then when you open it up, you will have um, a lovely vase that matches on both sides. Symmetry, same, same, both sides. Um, and then you're going to glue that Ming vase onto another piece of paper um, and draw your lovely cherry blossoms. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, boys and girls, cherry blossoms are on their way. Maybe if we make some, spring will come even faster. So spring vases and uh, Ming vases in spring, Ming in spring. Symmetry Ming vases and cherry blossoms is our lesson for this week. Let's talk a little bit about the Ming dynasty. A dynasty is a time period in China and the Ming dynasty was from the years 1368 to 1644. A lot of things that we associate with China happened during this time period. It was a time period of building and the arts flourished like the Great China Wall. Yes, there were pieces of it before the Ming Dynasty, but during the Ming Dynasty is when most, of, a lot of it was rebuilt or built brand new. Um, and it's what we still see today in China. Canals were built connecting the country, so goods and, and different items could travel all over China. And the Forbidden City was built during this time period, the home of the emperor at the time of China. Art, like I said, flourished during this time period. And of course we know that the um, basic words and alphabet, uh, so to speak, of China is in itself an art form, right? We look at those calligraphy, calligraphy writing. Um, more of our artware from that time period, porcelain and uh, lacquerware. Lacquerware is when you take wood and you carve and you cover it with coats and coats of a varnish or a lacquer. And of course, porcelain, we call China. How funny is that, right? You probably pull out your China dishes on special holidays or special occasions to eat from. That's those really, really fine, really beautiful, um, thin porcelain dishes. And Ming vases. So take a look at our Ming vases. What we notice right off the bat is our top and our bottom have some sort of a pattern. And then the center is typically filled with some kind of a nature scene. It's an animal or just blossoms and branches and leaves, but notice pattern, nature design, pattern. And that's very typical for most of our Ming vases. Also notice that they were just done in blue and white. Even if it's an animal or something that wouldn't be blue and white in nature, everything is blue and white in our Ming vases. Pattern, nature, pattern, blue and white. So boys and girls, your job is going to be to design a vase. Okay. It doesn't matter what shape your vase is going to take. It's up to you. And then we are going to fill it with some pattern and some nature. Okay. And then we're going to add our color. You can even put a Chinese dragon in there if you want, right? Some of those vases had Chinese dragons. And there's some patterns that are typical to our Ming bases for your tops and bottoms. Okay, a few more over here. Some typical patterns in our vases. So, first thing you're going to do is take one piece of paper and you are going to fold it in half. And from the fold, you are going to draw your vase, whatever shape you'd like. While it's still folded, we cut along that line and then we open it up. Glue it to another piece of paper. It doesn't have to be blue, but if you have blue, it looks real nice. And then design your vase. Pattern, nature scene, patterns. And then we're gonna go ahead and draw in some branches. Now, here at school, we went ahead and used some paint to put on our cherry blossoms. So we took a little pink, a little yellow, a little red, and we basically stamped 
are blossoms on all over your, our branches. But if you don't have paint, no worries. You can add your blossoms with whatever you have in home. But our cherry blossoms are pinks and, and, and whites and reds and all kinds of a lovely bright spring colors like that. So go ahead and top off your branches with some cherry blossoms. I hope you enjoy making your Ming bases and cherry blossoms.